This is the Heidenhain LS186. Comes in two variations. It'll be the 186 and the 186C. The standard 186, as you'll notice, has a single magnet right there in the middle. That's where you're going to find reference, or if you're going to be doing homing sequence, the axis would have to travel the full length of the scale, cross over that magnet, and then it would reference. The other version is what we call distance coded. It's an LS186C. You'll notice that there are no tiles, no magnets in the face groove. That's because on the glass there are multiple reference marks uh, spread out from one another. It has to cross over two and then it'll know where it's at. Now a lot of people have replaced the old LS106. You can see this severely damaged LS106. It was out in the field for probably over 20 years and it was replaced with a 186 and we can easily replace your old LS106 with that as well. The one LS186 was is either ordered as a plus or minus 5 micron accuracy or plus or minus 3 microns. This particular LS186 was purchased as a 5 micron version. You can purchase them in 3 or 5 micron accuracy versions. Heidenhain specifies their accuracy in microns per meter. That means that it is guaranteed to be within 5 microns or 3 microns in any 1 meter section of the scale. Now this scale is 1840 millimeters which is 1.8 meters. At a 5 micron accuracy grade we would expect this to be somewhere between 7 and 9 microns accuracy over the full length. Heidenhain always over specifies the error possibility in the scale and in this case they really overestimated. This one came in at a plus or minus 1.94 microns total over the full length. You can expect to achieve even higher accuracy if you were to order a 3 micron grade scale. Now this scale has been replaced by the LS187. Uh, this LS186C uses four field scanning which is more susceptible to contamination than the single field scanning currently used by its replacement, the LS187. The LS187 is the same in mounting structure, uses the same hole pattern, the most noticeable external difference is that the 187 has a metallic reed head and metallic end caps and uses the single field scanning. This is a picture here in the catalog of the LS187. Looks identical to the LS186.